And yet another Ripple projector. This time it's a, a slightly different one because it's got an unusual remote control. And it's also running off a 5 volt supply. It's not uh, running directly in the mains. And the range of options it's got are auto when it changes colour itself. And you may see a bit of shimmer because it's pulse and modulating a modestly low frequency. Uh, it's got... Uh, music, which is just annoying. It just basically every time there's music, it just pulses. That's annoying. And strobe, which is seriously, that's just unpleasant. Uh, then it's got the fixed colours. Um, you can choose RGB when it'll just uh, light all the colours together, which is a good effect. And then you can choose the very simple palette. Red, green, blue, yellow, uh, cyan and magenta and it, it's just lighting the LEDs at full output. The motor has just three speeds. It's got the way too fast, it's got quite acceptable and then it's got actually really nice and slow and because it's pulse with modulating the motor by the sound of it um, the motor actually has no problem starting at that speed because it's being driven in a series of pulses. Um, motor stop Okay, and you can stop the motor apparently, I didn't notice that before. And of course you get the off and on, but if you interrupt the power to the unit it will uh, just it will just go revert to its basic setting, which is annoying, it's not as good as the other one that actually stored it. So let's uh, take a closer look inside this one because it's going to be different. Okay, first interesting feature about this one. Uh, the fan runs at a constant speed all the time, it's obviously running directly off the 5 volt supply being powered by this little switch mode power supply. The connector is one that's commonly used uh, on um, little sort of USB-ish type connectors. Um, and I certainly used this connector and I ran it off a little power bank, which was quite handy being able to do that. But, um, the power consumption, if you choose, say for instance, uh, a red LED, it's 4 watts. Um, choose two LEDs together and it goes up to about 6 watts. Uh, and choose the red, green and blue all together and it goes up to about almost 9 watts. So that does suggest that, you know, it's running typically about 3 watt LED chips uh, at full whack inside that, which is quite interesting. Um, LEDs all off. Power goes down to about 1.5 or 1.6 watts, most of which will just be the fan inside. So let's uh, open it up and take a look inside. These cases are just used for all of them. It's quite, uh, it's quite interesting that they're just so standard. I noticed that uh, when the connector's in, it sticks out a bit, and when you run the case around, it shorts against the uh, outer sort of ground. Uh, of the plug, but uh, it doesn't seem to really affect it. It doesn't seem to actually have a reference to that in any way. Unless it is, of course, connected to the the cases connected to the ground. I'm not sure. I've not actually checked that. I would have thought, as with many of these things, it would just all be isolated inside. This one does actually have a company name in it. Uh, model LPS-SW01L. Uh, Shenhen Lepson Technology Co. Limited. So what's this going to reveal? Probably a pretty similar arrangement to the other ones. So it's a pretty similar arrangement. It's got the the fan here is just mainly blowing against the circuit board which is just sharing the same mountings. Everything's plugged together, which is nice. The lens in the front is skewed at a slight angle, which is not uncommon. Uh, the usual motor arrangement, the usual mounting arrangement of the... Oh, the LED's not a Luxian star style. It's different. Uh, we'll have to explore that then. It's a little rectangular panel. But is it just going to have one of those standard... Um, Luxian-ish types of uh, beads on it. Circuit board not revealing an awful lot. Let's see if I can get that off as well then. Actually, 
actuate them. Yeah, the whole lot's going to have to come out, isn't it? I guess they just put this together as an assembly and then the fan pretty much holds everything in place. Anything exciting on the circuit board? Oh, it's got a couple of extra outputs. I wonder what they're for. Uh, any numbers on the chips that make any sense at all? That chip's an LM358, so it's to do with the audio. It's an op-amp uh, coupled to this little microphone over here. That looks like a little voltage regulator. Yeah, that's marked Y1. Oh, and there's a smaller... Uh, it looks like a transistor, but it's marked Y1. Could be a regulator. And then there's a smaller component, also marked Y1. That's very helpful. Yeah, lots of uh, transistors marked Y1. Uh, 3 ohm resistors and a 4.7 ohm resistor, presumably for the red. Uh, but two 3 ohms for the green and blue, I'm guessing, and the outputs. Uh, they're all being switched from this little chip here, which rather predictably, it's a, it's a, seven, it's a 14 pin chip, but it's not got a number on it. Uh, this also has a switch in the back that lets you choose basic things like auto, uh, sound, activated and off. Uh, the assembly here, let's uh, whip the motor off. What sort of LED does it have? They do seem to be running the LED at a modest power. I'm not sure how it would fare running at the full, basically, 9 watts. Um, at full white output. Then again, the best effects are just two colours combined. Yeah, it's just a generic. Uh, I mean, would you rate that for 9 watts? That was draw dissipating a lot of power. I would actually rate that package as like 3 watts, you know, just 1 watt per LED chip. So I'm um, not sure what longevity is going to be like for that. Hmm, that's a bit dubious. Um, even with the fan cooling, because there's not really a sort of what you'd call a thin heat sink, although this uh, metal will take it back down to the aluminium housing, so it's, it's going to have some cooling effect. Uh, this, uh, I mean, the fact that the motor is controlled, I'm guessing that transistor there might actually be for switching. Oh no, there's another little transistor there, it probably switches the motor. Um, the fact the motor is pulse modulated from the chip does mean it, it's quite good at the lower speed, although you only have off and three speeds. It, it makes it a bit limited. The colour is also a bit limited. So this is a, maybe one of the least versatile and it doesn't store the memory setting. But um, it does have the one advantage that it can be run off 5 volts, which is quite a neat um, thing, I suppose. But um, yes, I, I'm not so sure about this one. It's interesting. It's certainly very bright, but is that going to be at the price of the longevity of the LED? But yeah, worth uh, taking a look inside anyway. OK, a little bit more experimentation while uh, I was actually putting it back together again. And I have to say, it's not quite as bad as running the LED at the 3 watts per chip because the because it's a 5 volt supply and the resistors are actually dropping the current to the um, LEDs and it's dissipating a bit across the resistors, that means the resistors are dissipating part of that power. So it's only actually about 2 watts per LED chip. Um, so if you're just selecting maybe about... Uh, a two colours like, say for instance, one of the nicest uh, is cyan or purple, uh, then it's only going to be dissipating about 4 watts, which is probably OK. There is no heat sink compound in that though. Um, and the resistors, that's also why the fan is actually encroaching on the circuit board, because it's actually blowing onto the resistors on the circuit board to keep them cool. Uh, the disc, the patterned uh, ripple disc here, is, oh, it's a bit wobbly actually, uh, it's actually made of glass, which is quite nice. It's uh, quite nice when they make them of glass because it's a, it got sort of good optical quality. So um, those uh, are just little corrections I wanted to make. Uh, there is no heat sink compound under this though, and it still, you know, it's likely to, uh, I suppose ultimately it's putting a lot of heat into the case as well. Uh, I suppose the best thing to try is actually a long-term test. Uh, I'll let you know uh, in the 
description down below. I'll leave it running for a while and just see how hot that actually gets. <laughs>